<laughs> so no, no pressure whatsoever. No, 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 no pressure whatsoever. Right from 2012, I think, when I first started working on Salatinol, it's been an obvious point in my world that this product's coming to market. Salatinol is going to be big. So for the last four years, since 2012, we've been looking at where we're going to position it, how we're going to tell the story to the market, how the product works, picking that story that really differentiates us in the marketplace. And we found that, and telling that story now will be great. We are now moving towards distribution trials. So our key customers will see this product for the first time, I think, this year. Every year that we've put this into trials, it's been the top performing product. So it's a consistent performing molecule. And that's really what a grower and an agronomist wants from a product. He wants to be able to trust the product that he's put onto the field. And that's what Slatinol does. It really does deliver. The guys at Syngenta, the formulation guys, the biokinetics guys, the trialists, the registration guys, and many, many more bringing this product to market. It's absolutely critical for us. We feel that weight on our shoulders, or that support as well, but the weight on our shoulders to deliver all that work that they've done to the marketplace. When we're constructing stories for marketing or, or sales purposes, we just utilise all that knowledge and all that information that we've got. And that's where great stories come from, from really understanding that technical information. When we get those stories and when we see how a product works, it's just easy. We just go out there and sell it. It just sells itself. It's an easy product to market, but a great story to tell.